Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. I have a little Halloween riddle for you. When is a ping pong ball not a ping pong ball? Answer? When it's a glowing eyeball instead. I'm going to teach you how to take a little tea light and a ping pong ball and turn it into something monstrous for Halloween. So for this project, I'm going to be using some Sharpie pens in various colors. I've got a pair of scissors. I've also got my ping pong balls, a tea light, which is very important, and some glue dots. Now, you can use a hot glue gun if you would like, or any other kind of glue that will adhere to plastic, like a E6000 kind of a glue. But because I'm going to want to use my tea light after Halloween, I'm going to be using glue dots so I can easily take my eyeball off. The other thing I'm going to need is an X-Acto knife. Now, this is very sharp, so make sure that you have adult supervision when you do this. First thing first, what we're going to do is take our ping pong ball, and we're going to decorate it. Now, this is where you get to have fun. I'm going to be making this into an eyeball, but you can make it into a monster if you want to. The great thing about ping pong balls is that they're, they're a great surface to draw on. I really love working with... Uh, Sharpie pens on ping pong balls because just the surface is really smooth and it takes the ink really well. But you can have lots of fun here making this one. But this one I'm just going to be making a very simple monster eye. As you can see, I grew, drew the pupil in the center there, a very wide open pupil. And I'm going to make like a little shine here. To make a little shine, you just leave a little bit of white so it looks like it's, his eye is shining in the, in the night light. There we go. Now, of course, what monster's eye would be complete without some bloodshot, right? So I'm going to make some little bloodshot bloop, squigglies on the sides here. Fun, fun. Like that. There you go. And there's also these little flecks in the eyes. I'm going to make those real quick. Because this is going to light up, you'll see all of these little elements, which is kind of fun. There we go. Okay, so my eyeball is done. Now what I'm going to do is I just need to cut a tiny little hole right here so that my little candle light will go through. So you do need to be very careful here. But what I'm going to do is hold, hold my artwork so that it is bottom side facing up. And I'm going to take my X-Acto knife here and I'm just going to make a punch it through, make like a little slit, just like that. And then I'm going to come back and make an X. So I'm going to just make a slit in the other direction. So you end up with a little X there. Can you see that little X? X marks the spot. Now, you can just take your X-Acto knife, just be very careful here, but take your X-Acto knife and just from edge to edge, from the ends of those little X marks, just make a little hole. And then you can clean it out a little bit. Knock those little pieces out. And test it to make sure that it's big enough. And if it needs to be a little bit bigger, you can use your X-Acto knife to just open it up a tiny bit more. Always be careful that you're cutting away from yourself, though. OK, so there we go. Now he fits. Now he's nice and tight there, but to make sure that he doesn't come off, I'm going to use my glue dots. And the other thing that I'm going to do before I uh, put my glue dots down and put my eyeballs on here is I'm actually going to color this to make this look like this is his mouth. So he's a big eye on top of a mouth. Once again, these Sharpie pens are great for coloring on this plastic surface. It stays nice, solid. So I'm going to make him some teeth. And I'm just going to go zigzagging away here to make these teeth. Just having fun. Now, if you wanted to, you could use washi tape. You could use any, any other form to decorate this if you want to. But I love using these markers. OK, so there's his teeth. And underneath the teeth, I'm going to color in this area so you really see the teeth. Now, until this dries a little bit, when Sharpie goes to Sharpie on plastic, it will have a tendency to um, erase 
the other Sharpie lines, so just be careful when you're coloring, or let the uh, first set of Sharpie lines where the teeth are, let those dry really good before you add your second color here. Because it will do, it just takes, it just picks it up. But once it's dry, which takes about mm, maybe five, 10 minutes, once it's really dry, it won't pick it up anymore. There we go, okay, and now last but not least, I'm gonna give it a little edge around here to make it look like he's got a lip. There we go. Kind of looks like one of those um, circus stands that the elephants stand on, <laughs> doesn't it? Okay, so here we go. Now I got my eyeball, he's got his hole. I'm gonna take some of these glue dots. I'm just gonna place the glue dots right around the base of the hole. And I'm kind of kind of scrunch them up. They're kind of like, I shouldn't say this, but they're kind of like boogers. And so you kind of just want to take them and roll them up, put them around the edge there, and then just place it on top of your light and squish it down there really good. And then that'll keep it nice and tight and stuck there. And there you have it, your eyeball. And that's all there is to it. Now the only thing I have to do is bloop, flip on the switch. Now remember, you can make lots of these eyes all over, or you can make it look like a monster instead. You can have lots and lots of fun with these. Remember, just let your imagination go wild. For more great ideas for your Halloween adventures, check us out at sophie-world.com. Ooh, you need to be lit. Me hungry. Don't look at me.